in today's video what we got going on i'm gonna be going over the new oblivion potion in era 8 now is this potion worth it is it not let us just find out because i'm curious i know you guys are curious too wait a second only one percent of you are subscribed oh my gosh i can't believe my eyes if you want to turn my frown upside down you can hit the subscribe button it's free completely free even hit the bell if you're there might as well now back to the video so the most important thing about this potion is that it costs 2.5 million coins to make 2.5 million right now i have 500,000, right and i only have two void coins you need five to actually craft the potion basically i need three more coins to actually be able to craft the potion so that's 1.5 million coins now you can actually get some void coins in achievements so we have i give my life achievement you've rolled five million times so this is for five million rolls so lucky me i'm almost at five million rolls i'm just about to get this and it does give you a hundred thousand coins as well which is really nice but then this one right here five hundred thousand coins and two void coins for 10 million rolls now i'm not even close to that i'm not even going to be able to get to 10 million but it's okay in the future we will get this reward so those are right now the only ways to get the void coins okay i lied there is actually another way to get a void coin so right here we are thrilled to announce that Soul Zanji has been selected to the Innovation Awards 2024 as one of the new best experiences. So basically, Soul Zanji was nominated in the Innovation Awards 2024 for best new experience. And if Souls wins, we get one Void Coin, one Heavenly Two Potion, increased Jester Spawn chance from 3% to 8%, Jester Product Discount, Luck Buff, and Innovation Awards Aura event. I don't know what this is, but look at that. We get another Void Coin. So if you guys want any of this stuff here, all you have to do is vote for Soul Zanji in the game it basically looks like this look i want this i know you guys want this too it's a free void coin free heavenly two plus we would actually be able to get jester because it's so hard to get this guy he's too rare so now let's actually talk about the jester so three percent chance three percent chance bro i haven't seen the jester one time so the jester sells some pretty good stuff obviously we have the oblivion potion you can actually trade your biome items in the shop for void points so i think it's these biome items here like this 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 and if i'm correct i have so many so i'm gonna get a lot of points and look at that mario actually just spawned for me so i'm gonna go over to her now here a that's not what we're looking for we're looking for those void coins void coins yeah we're not gonna buy anything here because we gotta save our coins that's okay though you can go ahead and despawn now okay so it turns out i was correct about the null piece of star cruptane those items are being sold for the void points that's how you get these so basically the null right here costs 27 vp piece of star right here costs 15 cruptane and eternal flame cost the same amount at 30 13 and then icicle rainy bottle and wind all cost one so null is obviously the best here and now the oblivion potion is it really worth it like i said at the start of the video it costs 2.5 million coins to buy that's just with coins obviously the bank being implemented into the game is going to make it really helpful that's still a lot of coins so this video right here is a video from a moderator some of you may have already seen this video they use the oblivion potion right here and oh my gosh why do they have so many heavenly one potions all right let's see what they get from this potion I actually haven't seen the video yet. Let's see it. Let's see it. All right. Take a look at this right here. Gives you oblivion status. I guess that's one of the achievements. So this potion gives 35 million luck boost. That is actually insane. Yeah, it, it gives you the ability to obtain this right here, which is an achievement. All right, let's just see what they get. The m, &M potion. Here it is. I believe this is Astro. Let's see. Hypervolt. Okay, I was wrong, but that's not great for the new potion. If I got this and I pop the potion, I'll be pretty mad. Oh my gosh. Four impressions? No, there's more because look look at the, the leaderboard. Oh One, my gosh. Two, three, four, five, six. Dude, there's seven people with oppression in here. How though? I don't know. What is this oppression community? Oh, they got the boat too? The boat looks so I I need to get the boat, bro. I know. It looks so sick. What's the rarity? I, I forget, but I know it's not a lot in um in rainy. Yeah, in rainy. Dude, we're surrounded. Oh my gosh, I'm lagging so bad. Dude, my frames. If Dude, you this zoom is so in, weird. It's like a, it's like a cold. Oh my god, my frames. Oblivion incoming. Yeah, right. Dude, he actually gets it. Yeah, right. Equip your best auras. I'm gonna get glitching. Dude, what is happening? Did he pop it? Oh my. No way. Oh, he popped it. No, he got virtual. Virtual, bro. No. That's so sad. That's actually really sad. All that grinded for virtual. That's actually so tough, dude. All that grind. Actually, he used uh, max luck, right? With yeah, that he potion? used max luck. Yeah, max uh, luck. Obviously, we're not with the new gauntlet, but 
Max Black. Look at my little blood lips. Our auras are nothing compared to the I know, the just, the nothing. size difference is insane. <laughs> I like the new glitch rework though, because like you could see it through through these auras. Yeah. So it's like, it always stands out. That is true, I like it. Why do some people want an oppression rework? It looks already amazing, I don't get it. Exactly. All right, here's a clip of someone finding the Jester Merchant. Since I wasn't able to, I don't know when I'll be able to. So shout out to Thasso. All right, let's check this out. This place has items that are worth 2,000 times more than any store run by some idiot. Wow, that's so mean. Poor Murray. And if we also look right here, it says exchange. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. Well, in game, Mari just decided to spawn right beside me. That's a jump scare, okay. Fortune's point three. Is this even good? Um, I have Fortune's point two. Let's see, what's the difference between these? Wait, it's literally no different. It's just one minute to, what? Why would you, why would anybody buy that? Why would anybody want to buy the fortune spoy three like what also the lucky potion large lucky potion i mean once you're able to buy the bank you'll be able to actually buy these but right now i gotta save for that amazing super amazing potion and when i say amazing um is it really amazing What's funny is that this is actually the third time I'm already spawning in this spot. I know that she goes around the map at different places, but maybe some spots are more uh, lucky than some. Three times in a row for one spot and there's like six different spots. That's kind of crazy. Okay, let's get back to it. So he actually clicked the exchange button. And as you can see, we can actually exchange all these. So like I mentioned earlier, you can see the amount right there of what you can get for the void points. But yeah, he just exchanged them. Oh yeah, he's going crazy. He's doing everything. He's doing everything. Still going. Okay, he just rinsed all of his items. Look at that. And now these are the items that it's selling. Rune of Hell, Heavenly Potion 1. Also does sell Heavenly Potion 2s, but obviously just for a more expensive amount. Rune of everything. That's every single rune inside one. And then look at this Oblivion Potion, man. Gives you Oblivion status. 350 plus luck, 35 million for one roll. And look at that, man. Five Void Coins. Five Void Coins, man. I'm at four. I'm actually close. I'm actually close. If you guys want me to live stream or something, you pop in this potion let me know i might just turn it into a video we'll see what if i actually get oblivion man? bro tell me why mari just spawned again last time she was in that spot right here but now she's here bro and look what she has void coin void coin please please i think you don't have enough money really really are you, are you trying to call me broke right now is that what you're trying to say come on this is all i need this is all i need money please is there any way to like scam her like can you like why can't i give mari like an aura like i can give her like a celestial and just take the coin there should be like a 25 percent thing where you give her like less coins as like a trade offer and then she might accept it if she doesn't accept it then you just lose your coins but if she does what am i talking about i don't even know what i'm talking about anyways so in my professional opinion, I would say that the Oblivion Potion is not worth it. I don't think it's worth it. It costs too much. It's too hard to get. And the Jester doesn't even spawn. So all I got to say, vote Souls RNG. Let's get those rewards. Looking for my peace of mind. Where is it? I cannot find. I must be blind, yeah. You wasted all my time, yeah.